Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this very, very special evening with Exis Dental School, the largest online platform for dental students. My name is Naimur Rahman, and I am your host for this evening. <clears throat> we are here today to celebrate the past, to enjoy the present, and to look forward <laughs> to the future. We are here to celebrate the continuous and dedicated efforts put in by each and every one of you to make Existential School what it is today. Before successfully done nine episodes, we are standing here with a brand new 10th episode with the topic gum recession. And this wouldn't have been possible without each and every one of you. So first of all, before we go any further, I would like to thank each of you, especially our mentor, our advisor of Existential School, Dr. Onupam Poddar, sir, our honorable president, Dr. Farhad Islam Bhaiya, and all Existential School working behind this program. Uh, some of you might be get confused and surprised watching me here tonight. Uh, one thing I must have to inform you that our one of the best hosts of Existential School, uh, Shamima Jahid Priti, from Pradi Medical College, Dental Unit, Session 19 and 20, uh, is supposed to perform tonight as moderator. Uh, unfortunately, she suffered from some physical complications. Uh, I'm requesting all of you to pray for, for her rapid recovery. Okay. Uh, with the gift of amazing, admirable sessions, Exis has gave us the opportunity to meet and greet honorable teachers across the country and the abroad. It is my honor to introduce our respected judges. First of all, uh, I'd like to introduce our foreign judge, Dr. Balaji Monohar Sar, Principal and Head, Department of Periodontology from Kalinga Institute of Dental Science, Bhubaneswar, India. Then, with utmost pleasure, I'm introducing Dr. Muhammad Inayat Hussain Sar, Assistant Professor, Department of Periodontology from Shahid Swarawadi Medical College, Dental Unit, Dhaka. And last but not the least, we have Dr. Muhammad Mubashirul Hawk, sir, with us, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Periodontology and Oral Pathology from Ibrahim Medical College, Dental Unit, Shahabag, Dhaka. And it is a great pleasure for me to say that we have, uh, today we have an observer from uh, the Thailand. Uh, she is none other than Dr. Sapatpong uh, Sidis Wong Wong from, uh, is a periodontologist from Thailand. Uh, thank you all of the judges. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, for every day, uh, we have our favorite, our mentor, our advisor, Dr. Onupam Poddar, sir, uh, the uh, unit head, Department of Periodontology and Oral Pathology from Dhaka Dental College, Dhaka. Uh, thank you so much, respected judges, for being the part of today's show. Thank you, thank you. With utmost <clears throat> pleasure, I'd like to introduce our brilliant competitors. So today we have with us Mohammad Fayaz Ahmed Bhaya <clears throat> from Khaja Unisali Medical College, Dental Session 17 and 18. Uh, we have Nafisa Anjum Haliyapu from Sir Solimullah Medical College, Dental Unit Session 17 and 18. And finally, we have Taspia Manzur Chodhuriyapu from Bangladesh Dental College, Session 17 and 18. All the best, dear participants, tonight. Don't be stressed. Give your best and forget the rest. Now, I'd like to request our honorable judges. It will be very helpful for the presenters if you could share some of your valuable advice with our presenters, with our audience. So uh, I would like to request our favorite Dr. Onupam Poddar, sir, to take over this session from me and continue it. Dr. Onupam Poddar, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, Naimur Rahman, today's moderator from Rashi Medical Dental Unit. Very good evening, Honorable Judges, Prof. Dr. Balaji Manohar, is a well known periodontist in India, former Secretary General, Indian Society of Periodontology. Now he works as a principal and head in the Department of Periodontology, Kalinga Institute of Dental Sciences, Governor India. And Dr. Mohammad Anai Hussain, Assistant Professor. Department of Periodontology and Oral Pathology, Shoishu Rajdi Medical Dental Unit, and also Dr. Mohammad Mohashirul Haq, Assistant Professor and Head, Department of Periodontology and Oral Pathology, Ibrahim Medical College, 
Ibrahim Memorial Dental, Middle College Dental Unit. Today's is our 10th episode. Today's group name is Kriklan. And today's uh, topic is Lam Decision. Our beloved participants of today's sessions are Muhammad Fayaz Ahmed from Khaza Unisolid Medical College Dental Unit and Dr. Um, Nafiza Anjum Holi, Swit Suraddi, Thar Sulamula Medical College Dental Unit and Laspiya Manjur Choudhury, Bangladesh Dental College. Uh, all are in the 17 and 2017 and 18 sessions. Welcome all of our honorable judges and beloved participants. Hopefully, it will be a great episode. Best of luck. Finally, I would like to thank uh, uh, XC Dental School for uh, arranging such like the nice program. This will be helpful to all of us. And I uh, I would like to thank our today's observer, Dr. Sapatpan Sotish Ong, Periodontist Thailand. Thank you all, and thank you, uh, Naimur Rahman, today's moderator. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your valuable advice. And now I'd like to request uh, Dr. Balaji Monohar, sir. Sir, if you could please share your word with us, sir. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be once again with you all here. Uh, definitely the love for the subject and specialty of periodontology is not hidden. Uh, Dr. Anupam, Dr. Hart, Dr. Anayat, all of them are here. Uh, we are all here to uh, educate and uh, probably uh, drive home the point of the importance of periodontal health to the general public. And uh, the general public will only get this uh, knowledge if the youngsters like you who are going to present the papers today are going to have in-depth knowledge of the subject. And you would be the torch bearer for the specialty of periodontics to take them and advise them on the general oral health as well as we all know the importance of this periodontal health with the systemic health which is going on, the interrelationship. So uh, I really appreciate all three of you for having uh, come forward to present uh, papers. And as Naimur has <coughs> said, don't be stressed, give your best, leave all the rest to God. So all the best to you all. And I really hope that you all do well. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. We are beyond excited to have you here tonight. And next, I would like to request uh, Dr. Mohammed Inayat Hussain, sir. Sir, please share some of your knowledge with us, with the audience, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm first time here. Uh, I want to thank uh, Accidental School and Onupam uh, Pudar, uh, sir. Uh, to give me a chance to present here. And the <clears throat> step uh, taken by the accidental school is very nice. Uh, 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 and with the uh, help of Onupam uh, their sir, uh, their uh, action, uh, different uh, topics, it will uh, uh, popular, uh, popularize our periodontology uh, which may rise uh, interest, more interest uh, in our student, and they will, uh, in future, they want to be a periodont periodontologist. Uh, so I, again, thanks accidental school to invite me. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for being the part of today's session. And now I'm requesting Dr. Mohammad Mubashirul Hawk, sir. Sir, please share, share some of your valuable advice to our presenters, to our audience, sir. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, very good evening, everyone. I think <clears throat> periodontology is the base of all discipline of the dentistry because if period, 
Periodontium is unhealthy. All dental treatment may be failure. Today's topics, gum recession, is very important topics because gum recession can be really serious. It increases our risk uh, of two through decades. And uh, if it gets advanced, it may interfere our comfort, our functions, and appearance also. And progressions of the gum recession is significant uh, risk factor of the tooth, uh, premature tooth loss. So thank you so much the, uh, to uh, invite me uh, to join this program as a judge. And thank you, Axis Dental School, organize uh, this type of program, especially in uh, these pandemic situations. Uh, and thank you, Onupam sir. Uh, he always try of his best to uh, improve the uh, periodontology in our country and uh, popular this subject in our country. I especially thanks him. And it's really great initiative. I wish great success uh, this program. And thank you all. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind words. And now, and again, I would like to... Uh, Thanks to our existent school for this opportunity and all the best to our all of our participants tonight. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, I know you all are eagerly waiting to start the competition. So no more further, further delay. Uh, let me allow to some uh, uh, announce some simple rules of our paper presentation program. Okay, so uh, each and every participant have 10 minutes to show their participants and complete their presentation. After eight minutes, uh, I will alarming all of you that you have only two minutes and within two minutes, you need to know, finish, you need to finish your presentation. And after the presentation have done, uh, there will be a discussion part among the judges and a question answer part. The judges will question you and you have to uh, answer all of their question if you know. Uh, okay, so without any further delay, uh, let's start it. So first of all, uh, I would like to uh, invite our first presenter tonight, Dr. Muhammad Ad Fayaz Ahmed Bhaiya from Khaja Yunus Ali Medical College Dental Unit Session 17 and 18. Bhaiya, could you please share your presentation right now? Am I audible? Your audio is clear, Bhaiya, right? Okay. You can share right now. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. All my respected judges, moderator, my fellow mates, and all the audience out there, Assalamu Alaikum. Firstly, I would like to thank our honorable judges uh, they spent out some time from their busy schedule for all of us. And I also like to thank Accidental School for creating such an amazing platform for all of us so that we could learn and expose worldwide. Now, without making further delay, I would like to start my presentation. Firstly, I would like to introduce myself. Okay, welcome to my presentation, GAM Recession. My name is MD Mohammed Fayaz Ahmed, Khaja Yunus Ali Medical College, General Unit. My session is 2017-18. Today, my topic content is introduction, definition, gingival biotype, classification, prevalence, and reference. Introduction. Gum recession, also known as receding gum, is the exposure in the root of the tooth caused by a loss of gum tissue and or retraction of the gingival margin from the crown of the tooth. Gum recession is a common problem in adults over the age of 40, but it may also occur starting from the age of a teenager. It can appear as localized or generalized and more prevalent in males. Definition, gum recession defined as the apical migration of the gingival margin below the cemento enamel junction, resulting in exposure of tooth surface. 
gingival biotype gingival biotype is the thickness of the gingiva in the facio palatal dimension it is one of the major determinant of gingival recession side recession mainly occur where there is thin gingival biotype and where the gingiva is thin because of its position the site is labial gingiva of the lower incisor region and labial gingiva of the upper canine tooth now i describe classification most common classification is miller's classification it introduced 1985 here is four type of classification class 1 class 2 class 3 and class 4 in case of class 1 the defect does not extend to muco gingival junction and there is no interproximal soft tissue and bone loss in case of class 2 defect that extends to the muco gingival junction or beyond the muco gingival junction but there is no interproximal attachment loss in case of class 3 recession that include loss of attachment soft tissue and bone and there is also defect extend to the muco gingival junction or beyond the muco gingival junction and there is mild malpo tooth malposition in case of class 4 severe recession involving extensive interproximal attachment loss in case of class 4 there is severe tooth malposition prognosis in case of class 1 and class 2 the prognosis is good to ex excellent there is complete root coverage in case of class 3 only partial coverage can be expected in case of class 4 very poor prognosis now i describe another classification sullivan and atkin classification according to gingival recession dimension depth and wide there is four type shallow narrow shallow wide deep narrow and deep wide now i describe prevalence according to age according to the us national survey when age is 80 to 64 there is incidence rate is 50% when there is age 30 to 39 the incidence rate is 37.8% when age is 65 and over the incidence rate is 88% and when the age is above 90 the incidence 70 to 80 the incidence rate is 90.4% gingival recession is more prevalent in male than female here i show a figure gum recession incidence rate according to country in usa the incidence rate is 53% norway 51% in new guinea 40% and in finland 11% so i collected all my study reference newman and kalanja clinical periodontology 13 edition and internet source thank you all for keep watching and keep patience assalamu alaikum thank you so much fayaz bhaiya for your excellent presentation and now can i please request nafisa anjum holi apu from sir solimola medical college dental unit session 17 and 18 apu you can take over the presentation right now thank you very much bhaiya good evening everyone i know i look weird with this gigantic headphone but don't worry i'm not in america i'm in bangladesh in my own home let's get started with the presentation okay we are on the way to moon <laughs> sir i'm in my home please don't tease me actually no other headphone fits my head so i had to go through with it well today my topic is gum recession i'm from i'm nafisa anjum holi from sir solimulla medical college dental unit my session is 2017-18 here i'm going to cover the causes the clinical feature the pathogenesis clinical significance and a case report that will outline the whole topic although in causes the exact cause is unknown for gum recession it is thought that chronic trauma or habitual trauma or direct trauma can be a cause of gum recession it is usually occurred in where there is a thin gingival biotype in chronic trauma we see faulty toothbrushing where the patient uses bristles with rough bristled toothbrush and 
when they use highly abrasive dentifrice or they use wrong technique of toothbrushing, like they horizontally brush their teeth. It causes a wet shaped defect on their tooth. Although there is no plaque or calculus accumulation, the surface look clear, smooth and polished. Here you can see some other traumatic injuries like lip or tongue piercing, amalgam overhangs, inadequate attached gingiva or partial denture clasp. There is also a cause of trauma that is malposition teeth. It occurs because of proclination or rotation of teeth and that causes bony dehiscence. Lack of attached gingiva is typically occurred in labial or lower anterior teeth. Frenal pulls may directly enhance recession, but also may impair plaque control. It also occurs due to overreduction or tooth wear or lack of opposing teeth. Self-injury to oneself like picking gums or tooth studs or sometimes biting nails or sometimes uh, pencil pencil biting can cause tooth recession that is called masochistic habits some gun, gum inflammation like periodontitis causes pocketing and inflamed gingiva predisposes anatomical factors that present is as a result of gingival recession plaque and calculus can also cause recession here we can see a little bit of plaque and calculus is attached to the tooth surface. Sometimes periodontal treatment can also result in recession like epically positioned flap or pocket elimination surgery. It is a deliberate outcome causing widespread and generalized loss of papilla determined by the amount of underlying bone loss. Here we can see how with the curate we are causing the root exposed and this is a deliberate cause of gum recession. Smoking is reported to increase recession. There are also some other minor causes like aging or hormonal changes. Aging firstly thought was to cause gum recession. However, the idea was discarded because of convincing evidence, because that aging causes shift of gum attachment. Hormonal changes occur in women during pregnancy, menstruation and lactation can cause gums to become more sensitive or vulnerable to recession. Clinical features. The crest of marginal gingiva is located apical to the cemento enamel junction. The tissue may be pink and firm or red and inflamed. Gingiva are usually thin and friable with little or no attached gingiva. While pocket formation may accompany the condition, the depth of gingival sulcus is often within the normal limits. <clears throat> occurs at any age, but more frequently with the increased age. Progression. In healthy gum, we can see the gum color is pink. It's tightly attached to the teeth and scalloped appearance around each other. While it is progressing to gum recession, the gum becomes swollen, bleeding, bright red color and tender to touch. While it is progressing to gum recession, Miller class three or four, gum pulls away from the teeth and we saw loose teeth, inflammation, pus. And while it is Miller class four classification, we can see the roots are visible. There is high sensitivity of temperature, inflamed gums with pus and tooth loss is really common. Symptoms that has great clinical significance to gingival recession. They are tooth sensitivity, toothy smiles, notched tooth, color change, space between tooth becomes wider and gum recession caused by gingivitis following symptoms may also present like puffy red gums or inflamed gums or swollen gums or gum bleeding while brushing or flossing and bad breath or hyaltosis. Here we can see a case report where there was a 46 year old man who was diagnosed with gingival recession caused by vigorous tooth brushing and acidic drink intake. It became worse within a year. The patient wasn't concerned about his aesthetically imperfect tooth, but he was more concerned of his tooth loss and marked hypersensitivity. The periodontologist suggested him a toothbrush with soft bristles and to drink less acidic drink. And this showed great improvement within six months. 
Here are the references I took. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Now, so finally, we have Tasfiya Manjur Chaudhuri from Bangladesh Dental College, session 17 and 18. Tasfiya Apu, you may proceed now. Thank you. I would like to ask everyone if I'm audible and if you can see my screen share. Uh, yes, Apu, your screen is clear and your voice is also clear. Okay, thank you. Assalamu alaikum and good evening. I'm Tasfiya Manzur Chaudhary, a student of Bangladesh Dental College, session 2017 2018. First of all, I would like to thank our beloved judges and everyone of Access Dental School, especially our beloved Onupam Potter sir, for arranging this competition, and also my fellow presenters. Without any further ado, I would like to get into my presentation. In my part of the presentation, I will be talking about the treatment of gingival recession, the prognosis of gingival recession, patient education, and criteria of successful root coverage. The treatment of gingival recession may be non-surgical and surgical. In case of non-surgical treatment, the first, the first thing is monitoring and prevention. It is important to identify and manage the cause of recession, such as faulty tooth brushing or chronic periodontal disease to prevent further recession. It is also important to maintain good oral hygiene to prevent further plaque-induced inflammation, which can result in gingival recession, especially in thin gingival biotypes. Then for the dentin hypersensitivity, we can use desensitizing agents, varnishes, or dentin bonding agents. We can also use composite re re restorations to treat small localized re recession defects, with sensitivity, wear or caries of the two root surface. And uh, this would result in a longer clinical crown height, which would be acceptable if the patient has a low lip line or if adjacent treat can be, teeth can be treated in the same way to maintain symmetry. Composite is also used to treat more extensive recession defects in which there is interproximal bone loss, often seen in patients with periodontal disease. It is also used to close the back, black triangles and cover the exposed root surfaces associated with recession defect. Here, as you can see, that here there is formation of a black triangle in a patient with recession defect. This was corrected by composite. Further, non-surgical treatments include correction of malocclusion by orthodontic treatment. As we all know that malocclusion or malpositioned tooth, they, also, they tend to have they do tend to undergo gingival recession. Teeth which may be malpositioned buccally or labially through development may have a buccal dehiscence and associated recession discussed previously. This is often seen in buccally placed mandibular incisors where there is crowding of the lower labial segment. Studies have shown that orthodontic movement of the tooth lingually allows alve alveolar bone growth on the buccal aspect, thickening of the gingival tissue and subsequent coronal shift in the gingival margin, resulting in correction of the recession defect. We can also use removable gingival processes like gingival veneers to correct gingival recession. As you can see here, this is a teeth with, there is local generalized gingival recession. Here, this is a gingival veneer, which has corrected the gingival recession. Moving on to the surgical treatment, there are pedicle soft tissue grafts and free soft tissue grafts and additive treatments. In pedicle soft tissue grafts, we have rotational flaps like laterally positioned flap and double papilla flap. In advanced flaps, we have coronally advanced flap and semilunar flap. In free soft tissue grafts, we have epithelialized soft tissue graft and subepithelial connective tissue graft. And in additive treatments, we have guided tissue regeneration. The laterally positioned flap, it is indicated in single class one and class two recession. In this case, as you can see here, firstly, an incision, a bevel, a reverse bevel incision is given through the soft tissue margin, which is then open. Then at a distance of three millimeter from the wound edge, a superficial incision is performed, extending from the gingival margin to a level approximately three millimeter to the defect. Then in the donor area, another vertical superficial incision is given. Then a full a split thickness flap is prepared by a sharp dissection, leaving a layer of connective tissue covering the alveolar bone in the donor area when the flap is displaced laterally over the denuded surface. Then this flap is rotated about 45 degrees when sutured at the recipient bed and pressure is applied against the flap for two to three minutes to secure a good adaptation. To protect the surgical area, a periodontal dressing is given. 
The sutures and dressings are removed after 14 days. Patient is advised to avoid mechanical tooth cleaning for further two weeks, but to rinse daily with chlorhexidine solution. The double papilla flap is indicated in localized class one and class two recession. The split thickness flap on either side of the recession is raised. Vertical releasing incisions are performed on either ends of the recession defects. Then there are two flaps are taken from either sides and they're placed over the exposed root surface and they're sutured along the midline of the root. In the coronally advanced flap, two incisions are given, mesially and distally. They are to the recession defect. Then a split thickness flap is prepared. Then a horizontal incision is made through the periosteum, followed by plant dissection into the vestibular lining mucosa to release muscle tension. Then the facial portion of the papilla are deepithelialized to allow for a final placement of the flap margin coronal to the cemento enamel junction. The flap is adjusted for the optimal fit and is secured at a level one to two millimeter coronal to the cemento enamel junction by suturing the flap to the connective tissue bed in the papillary regions. The in the semilunar flap, a semilunar incision is placed apical to the recession and at a distance from the soft tissue margin that should be approximately three millimeter greater than the depth of the recession. The outline should be parallel to the curvature of the gingival margin. This incision is then extended into the papilla region on each side of the tooth, but care should be taken to maintain a broad base of anchorage to secure a collateral blood supply. Then a split thickness dissection is made, made the Mid-facial soft tissue graft is then positioned to the level of the cemento enamel junction and is then stabilized by light pressure for five minutes. In this case, no suturing is repaired but needed, but a light cure dressing may be applied for wound protection. Then we have epithelialized soft tissue graft. The exposed root surface, before any incisions, it is carefully scaled and root plan. Then a three to four millimeter wide recipient connective tissue bed is prepared apical and lateral to the recession defect. Then a foil trim pit is prepared of the recipient site, which is transferred to the donor site for accurate measurement. Then a graft of thickness two to three millimeter is dissected from the donor area. The graft is placed on the recipient bed. Adequate number of sutures are given to close adaptation of the underlying connective tissue bed and root surface. The bleeding is controlled by exerting pressure on the graft. A periodontal dressing is applied to the surgical site in the donor area. The sutures and dressings are maintained for two weeks. Now, the subepithelial connective tissue graft. This is considered as the gold standard for the treatment of gingival recessions. This is indicated to increase the thickness of the gingival tissues, single and multiple class one, class two, and class three recession according to Miller's classification. The split thickness flap is raised at the recipient site. The connective tissue graft is harvested from the palate. The split thickness flap is used to cover the graft and place coronally one millimeter above the cemento enamel junction. The sling sutures are then used to cover the graft. The next is guided tissue regeneration. This is used for single or multiple class one recessions. The full thickness flap is raised around the recession defect. The full thickness flap is, exposes the underlying bone. The guided tissue regeneration membrane, example, non-absorbable titanium reinforced polytetrafluoroethene PTFV is placed, and then it is sutured. The flap is then coronally advanced one millimeter above the cement enamel junction to cover the recession. Now, the prognosis of gingival recessions. So, the Sophia, you have two minutes left. Okay. The prognosis of gingival recessions depends on the- You have two minutes left. Okay, bhaiya. The prognosis of gingival recessions depend on the ability to achieve complete coverage of the exposed root surface. Miller's classification is most commonly used in this case. Classes one and three have good to excellent complete root coverage. Class three, only partial root coverage can be expected. And in class four, we have very poor prognosis. Patient education, it is important to explain the patient the causes of gingival recession so that it can be prevented. In this case, we have to teach the patient proper toothbrushing technique in order to prevent trauma. The patient, we have to advise the patient to maintain good oral hygiene in order to prevent plaque accumulation. The patient needs to withdraw certain habits such as nail and pencil biting, removal of lip and tongue piercings, if any, and smoking cessation, as we know that smoking has also contributed to gingival recession. Criteria of successful root coverage. There is a gain in clinical attachment. The depth of the gingival sulcus is within two millimeter, that is shallow residual probing depth. There is no bleeding on probing. There is no hypersensitivity of tooth. Increase in gingival height and color match with adjacent tissue is aesthetically harmonious. These are some of the references that I use for my presentation. Thank you, everyone.
Thank you so much, Tasri Apu, for this excellent presentation. Of hearing all the presentation, I myself become fascinated with the performance. Hope the audience uh, and the judges love all the participant presentation. So now uh, I'd like to request our honorable judges to take 15 minutes and discuss all the presentation and let us know about if any question that you have for the participant. Firstly, I would like to request Professor Dr. Balaji Monohar, sir. Sir, please share your opinion with us. All the three participants, uh, they have divided the topic and they have presented uh, certain, oops, can you see me? Okay. Naimur, you, you may go into others and come back to any online, online you go going to others. Okay, sir. Uh, sorry, audience. Uh, might be some technical problem with one of sir. Uh, okay, moving forward. Uh, now, <clears throat> I would like to request Dr. Mohammad uh, Inayat Hussain, sir. Sir, please share your point of view and let all the participants know about if you have any question. Dr. Inayat Hussain, sir. Thank you, uh, Dr. Naimur. Uh, first, uh, I want to thank all the participants. Uh, they, they really uh, done their very well. Uh, beside this, uh, I took uh, some points that uh, Mohammed Faizur, sorry, Fayyaz Ahmed. So, I have uh, delivered uh, his uh, presentation good, but uh, his uh, forward and backwards movement of the body is uh, some uh, 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 looks uh, uh, not a decent. Uh, uh, he should uh, um, practice, then he will be uh, very good. Uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. Your presentation good. Uh, Thank you, sir. You uh, deliver you with this <coughs> quite slowly. Did uh, it will be excellent. Thank you, sir. I think I I know you, huh? Uh, in a uh, in a uh, best six six best. Uh, you are uh, you took admission there but uh, didn't look at class okay mm. so thank you uh that's your chaudhuri yes sir that's good presentation uh pronunciation uh, very clear uh, <coughs> but uh, in uh, a slight presentation uh, the font of the size uh, was the uh, Small. You should uh, uh, font size will be twenty six or more than uh, in a one picture, one slide. Uh, the well, uh, word uh, uh, should be uh, limited. Uh, in this case, uh, your slide it may be increase, but uh, it looks pretty. Okay. Uh, Thank you. All best of luck. <clears throat> Naimur, please, please unmute. Please unmute. Dr. Oh, Baladis, sir. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Inayat Hussain, sir. Uh, I hope all the participants are very confident with their answer. 
And now I'm moving forward and request Dr. Mohammad Mubashirul Hawk, sir. Sir, please share your perception with the competitors. And uh, let's know if you any question you have. Dr. Mubashirul Hawk, sir. Thank you, moderator, uh, Mr. Noimur, for good moderating. And thank you all presenter. Uh, they present excellent, everyone. And uh, so I appreciate they will very good in future. And I have uh, a query my, my uh, past presenter, MD Fires Ahmed. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you say, what is the clinical significance of uh, gum recessions? Please. Sir. Sir, clinical significance. Uh. Uh, so there is a change in hypersensitivity with hypersensitivity then aesthetically unacceptable and root caries. Hmm. Okay. Okay, the cementum. There is a very chance of the cementum caries. Yes, sir. Cementum caries. So you mentioned the past. And uh, I have another query. Uh, is there any reason between the gum recession with ACE? There is a, uh, any relation between gum recession and ACE? Yes, sir. Uh, gum recession uh, increase, incidence rate increases with ACE. Increase with ACE? Yes, sir. Increase with ACE. OK, OK. Uh, can you tell me the percentage, the young ACE or after 50 ACE? Uh, which percentage gum recession may occur? Can you Sir, say? Um, young is, uh, I previously mentioned, uh, when age is 80 to 64, uh, the percentage rate is 50%. And when it is uh, older age, above 65, the percentage rate is 88%. It is clearly uh, said that incidence rate increases with age. OK, OK, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, now I uh, ask Dr. Uh, this Nafiza Anjum Holly, Sir Sonimullah Medical College, Dental Unit. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Thank you for your excellent presentation. Ex your presentation was so good. And you described the etiology, etiology of the uh, gum recessions. So can you say me the most common etiology, most two common etiology of the gum recessions? What? Thin gingival biotype is one of the most common and trauma. Which type of trauma? Chronic trauma, direct Example? trauma, um, rough tooth brushing. Hmm. Yes. Horizontal Another? direction and um, Tooth picking uh, or nail biting or self injuring the tooth. I think another is the uh, occlusal trauma. Occlusal trauma is another the most common cause. Okay, you tell well. And uh, can you tell me uh, if uh, is gingival recession is reversible? Or irreversible. I have read a few research papers where they say in Miller class one and two, they can be reversible when they use gingival veneers or they use hypersensitivity treatment. It is re reversible, but in class three and four, it is not reversible. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. And uh, now I ask uh, last presenter uh, who is. Last presenters. Uh, Tasfia Manjum Choudhury. Can you hear yes, sir. me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. Uh, your presentation is very elaborate and the treatment plan is surgical procedure. Uh, do you perform any surgery by observe any periodontal surgery? In your hospital or unit? 
No, sir, not yet. Because of the pandemic situation, we haven't been able to see any surgeries in person. Okay, okay. You describe very, very elaborately. So I think you already perform or observe. I have a query. Uh, how can I prevent the gum recessions? How can we prevent? Sir, we can prevent gum recession by uh, we can prevent gum recession by maintaining good oral hygiene. As we know that dental plaque is a predisposing factor for gum recession, then we need to be careful while tooth brushing because faulty tooth brushing technique contributes to gum recession. Then uh, we also need to uh, we need to remove any kind of lip piercing or anything if we have, then we need to approve, we need to, um, we need to get rid of the self-destructing habits like picking at gums or the picking at gums or picking at gums in order to prevent gum recession. Okay. Uh, if uh, any relation, do you know any relations with the vitamin to prevent the gum recession or receding of the gum? Any vitamin is uh, related here? Yes, sir. Vitamin C. It's very important for maintaining healthy gums, ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid. Or uh, any other vitamin? Sir, uh, vitamin A. No, you, I, I okay. think you, <laughs> vitamin B and Become. vitamin C. Vitamin B and vitamin C. Vitamin C is... Uh, help to, to prevent the recedings of the gums. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Noimur, I have- Thank you so much, sir, okay. uh, for your perception and question and answer portion. I hope all the participants are very confident with their answer. And we can see uh, our respected Balaji Monohar, sir, join again. Uh, sir, if there isn't any technical problem, sir, could you please share some of your opinion with presenters? Balaji Monohar, sir. Uh, sorry for the small technical snag. My laptop went into sleep mode. So now I have kept both my mobile as well as laptop on. So both, both the instruments are uh, working right now. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, congratulations to all the three participants for having uh, presented. Uh, without any fear or any uh, type of uh, discomfort or anything. Uh, you all divided the topic uh, uh, into three halves or rather into many parts and each of you took it up uh, part by part. Uh, uh, so it was, it was the topic is well covered. I, I believe you all are in third videos right now, isn't it? Yes. So for a third video student to cover up a topic uh, on aesthetic periodontology is a very good uh, sign, which is being shown by all three of you. Uh, I cannot see the moonwalker. Yeah, she is there, yeah. Uh, especially now I want to ask Fayaz uh, a couple of questions. Uh, yes, you, men you mentioned about uh, classification. You told about Miller's classification. Yes, sir. And you told about Sullivan and Atkins classification. Uh, do you have, I mean, uh, I, I agree that this is third videos and most of the times undergraduate students, these two classifications are the most commonly used classifications. Uh, but do you know any other classification other than this? Yes, sir. Uh, there is Cairo classification. Yes, yes, yes. Very yes, good. Uh, uh, there is. Tell me which year it was introduced, Cairo's classification. Uh, sir, uh, again, please. I uh, can you tell me which year this new classification was brought in? Uh, sir, it's I all right. If, if I, I'm not going to penalize you for not knowing the year. Then maybe 1908. I didn't okay. remember yet. 2011 it came. Uh, after that, uh, two more new classifications are there. And uh, it is a proud moment for me to tell that these two uh, classifications have been proposed by Indian authors. Uh, one is, uh, if you have heard about Mahajan's classification. Yes, sir. So and uh, the other one is Ashish Kumar and Masamati classification. So these two classifications have been uh, brought out in the year 2013 
2010 and 2013 used to classification scheme in Turkey. So this is what I wanted to uh, know from you. And uh, apart from that, uh, you covered on etiology and uh, prevalence, isn't it? Uh, yes, sir. I covered prevalence. Yes. Uh, the prevalence which you showed was more of the European countries and the American uh, continent. Yes. Uh, any, any idea what is the prevalence in the Indian subcontinent? Sir, actually, I, I have no idea. I... Sorry, 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 sir. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, but one thing you have to understand uh, so, I, maybe more than 90 percent uh, yes, as i remember or 90 percent of the population is suffering yes, from sir. some form of periodontal disease or cerebral disease they are suffering so uh, invariably uh, recession uh, does occur though it is not uh, because of the uh, uh, socio-economic status or the educational standards in our uh, subcontinent uh, the patients or the people are not much aware of these things that uh, recession happens and treatment has to be done. Such things, right? Otherwise, I think your presentation was all right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Pius. Uh, second was Nafisa. Yes, sir. Nafisa, you covered uh, the topic uh, and you presented one case report also. Uh, can you throw some light uh, as uh, Dr. Haksar uh, uh, also asked? Uh, tooth brushing uh, uh, is one of the causes you said uh, for the uh, recession to occur. So, suppose a person is coming to you, how will you know that this person's recession has been caused because of the tooth brushing, faulty tooth brushing? Of course, the patient will tell. I will ask the patient which type of toothbrush you use and how do you brush your teeth. The patient will show somehow that I use this way or this way. So let us say that your patient is not able to speak to you. Uh, can you clinically find out uh, by looking at the teeth or something? Yes, I can yes. see a wedge shape defect on the tooth. There yes. will be no calculus or plaque, but we can see the surface clear, smooth, and polished. Yes. Okay. So that is one cause of uh, recession. Uh, you covered uh, the etiology well, and uh, your presentation also was good. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, coming to Tasfia, we yes, covered sir. the treatment part. Yes, and, sir. Uh, in the treatment part, uh, again and again, I, I could uh, see that you are stressing more on uh, tooth piercing, lip piercing, and all those things. Uh, these things are not very common in our subcontinent. They are more in uh, America the Western and countries. Yes, Western countries, you will see. Uh, 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 this question is also again to Napisa also and Taspia also. Uh, you, uh, which is the region where you see maximum amount of recession in the in the mouth? Which level recession? Which area do you see? Is it the maxillary posterior teeth or maxillary anterior teeth or mandibular posterior or mandibular anterior? Where do you see? Bias, you want to answer? Uh, uh, question, please, again. Where do you see recession the maximum? Which region? Sir, uh, uh, labial gingiva. Yeah, maxillary or mandibular? Oh, sir, yeah, it's uh, mandibular. Mandibular anterior region, labial surface. Yes, sir. And one of the etiological factors or causes which you see, there is high renal attachment also which you see. In yes. the mandibular anterior region, which will cause the pull of the uh, margin. marginal margin marginal margin resulting in recession. Yes. Uh, you covered a lot of uh, treatment aspects, a lot of uh, surgeries. Uh, there are at, at the third base level, it was good enough for you to cover those uh, surgical aspects, but now there are newer techniques also available. A lot of newer techniques are available. Uh, yes. you can probably read uh, later. Uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for these uh, presentations. Uh, Anupam, sir, uh, I cannot see you, sir. 
sir uh, for for these uh, budding students of periodontology i will uh, send you some articles probably you can <coughs> send it across to them they can also read on those things and uh, probably improve their uh, knowledge uh, more uh, than what they already have uh, it would be a pleasure for me to send article on the classification system for them and uh, also maybe some article on the newer treatment aspects i will send sir to you yes sir yes sir it will be helpful to uh, our student and and uh, <clears throat> So thank you very much uh, for your attention and for your uh, nice comment about this debate session and and your question and answer session. Uh, our participants all are uh, try to give answer and hopefully they are well prepared and some. Um, <clears throat> I'm I'm appreciate your comment about their uh, presentation. And uh, and I I <clears throat> hope you you are always with us and give suggestion to our student and uh, you you are always uh, observe as an observer when you give time as an observer all time. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much, Mahaji uh, sir, for your kind words. Uh, I hope all of our participants and our future participants mark all of your words and uh, our future participants will remember this and uh, put this on your mind and give their presentation in future. And uh, I'm just about to ask our favorite Dr. Anupam Poddar, sir, please, sir, share something with us. Uh, sir. Uh, Anupam, sir, just one minute. Uh, Aspia, you mentioned about non-surgical treatment also. Yes, sir. Uh, do you have any idea what is creeping attachment? Sir, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Can do you, you have any speak? idea about creeping attachment? Creeping attachment. No, sir, I don't okay. have any idea. Can you have calculus? Balaji, sir, sir, sir. Your, sign, your sound is not clear. Oh, okay, your sir. sound is not clear. Okay, so, okay. Uh, hopefully, they, they cannot understand your question properly. Okay, okay. It's okay, sir. You continue, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, you can continue. <clears throat> sir, uh, uh, Anupam, uh, sir, uh, could you please share some of your uh, perception with the presenters? Thank you, thank you, um, uh, Fayaz Ahmed, uh, 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 our uh, presenter, our uh, today's presenter, Fayaz Ahmed. And uh, our uh, Nabija and Jumholi, and also Tavshya Amonjo Choudhury, which were all are well done. I am hopefully this presentation is day by day, uh, it will be very much presentable, and it will be, uh, I, I think they show the program and enjoy the program and uh, the, uh, the way of the presentation. I have a, uh, I have a, uh, suggestion to uh, Dr. Hello, Tapia Manjo Chaudhary. Your you slide preparation, it, may be, uh, it, will, it will be very much short and not uh, at all. It is, uh, it is uh, what is very much simple, very little. So we cannot understand the uh, how, what, I, what you say. So you point uh, the slide preparation, there is a uh, order in the six. There are six uh, lines in a slide. Always maintain the six line in a slide. It is very, very much um, uh, um, attractive. It will be very much active. Your presentation is good. Your paper is good. But due to um, heaviness of eye, we cannot be uh, observe your presentation properly. You um, further um, in future. You show that. And another, Fayaz Ahmed, your presentation is good. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, your presentation is good, and hopefully you are do fine. And uh, our um, Nafi Janjum Hali, uh, my, my, he's my, she's my student. One of the time I was a, I was a teacher of uh, Sarsal Malamari. Yes, sir, I know you. 
is my student of dental materials uh, you are doing very much i am very uh, i am very hopeful uh, hopeful to you you go on to better in dental okay. okay thank you thank you very much uh, thank you for your nice presentation and and thanks to dr mogarjir mohmoshi dr manayat and professor dr balaji sir uh, for your uh, nice presentation and nice uh, presentation nice uh, observation uh, dr naim uh, naimur rahman sir we move to others Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ranubhav Pokhar, sir, for your kind inspiration. I hope all the participants will be reminded. Uh, I am very grateful to uh, announce you that uh, today we have another foreign teacher with us, uh, Dr. Sapat Pokhar, sir. Uh, he's a periodontologist from the Thailand. Uh, sir, it will be very pleasure for us if you could share a little bit and say something about our program. Dr. Sapat Punsar, can you hear me? Okay, thank you for having me to join your events. Mm -hmm. I think um, um, all, present, all presenters um, are very good. Um, if you guys are undergraduated students or you graduated already. No, they are in part of the undergraduate undergraduate student. Undergraduated. Oh, so I think um, your presentation and the content in the review is very advanced. Mm -hmm. For the first one, your presentation is very clear and easy to understand. But um, as the professor said that you should update for the classification because now the periodontal classification in 2018 used Cairo 2011. To, to, to be the, the, the ginger wall recession uh, for today now. Mm -hmm. Even though we, we, all, we commonly use the Miller classification, but now you should update. And um, the knowledge is not only in the textbook, you should um, read the research, the review literature, or go to the website of the periodontology, for example, Journal of Periodontology, JOP Online, uh, for example. Um, the second presenter, um, I appreciate your presentation very much. You are, you are confident and very smart and good, good review. Mm -hmm. But I suggest you, if you want to improve your presentation, you should use the good quality of pictures that you um, pass on your screen because it's a lot of distortion. Even though you have a good um, content, but you have the poor quality of the picture, it's not, um, it's not smooth when you present, okay? Um, but I like um, how to, your, uh, to you present. And the third one, um, I appreciate your contents because you, your review is very advanced from the undergraduate. Your reviews about the surgical techniques, the treatment options, that's um, very important and interesting. But um, I would like to suggest the new techniques for the ginger wall recession. Um, now we use the microsurgical approach, the very little uh, suturing the um, very small blade, we call the mini blade or micro blade. Yeah, we use the microscope to make the surgery or um, um, maybe you can heard about the tunneling techniques that, That's yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you put in your uh, presentation, it's made like a, you update and you can catch up the the world, the world class of a ginger wall recession treatment. Yeah. So um, overall, um, I think um, every presenters present very well, but I suggest you 
to update the knowledge, not only the textbook, but also in the research and uh, reliable website. And for the tips and tricks for the presentation, you shouldn't um, use the poor quality of pictures and read every word on the slide and use the very small font. Yeah, because um, it's easy to, to follow your slide if you use the proper font um, size and, and the picture. Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, so Dr. Sapatpun, ma'am. Uh, uh, you are a very busy person and you kept aside a time for us. That's a great pleasure for us. Uh, we are beyond excited to have you here. Thanks a lot. Uh, okay, uh, I would like to mention the time of our presenter taken by for their presentation. So for the Fayaz Ahmed Bhaya, uh, according to my calculation, calculation, it is about five minutes and 44 seconds. For the Nafisa Anjum Haliapu, it is about six minutes and 13 seconds. And for the Tasfiya Manjul Chodhuri Apu, it is about nine minutes and two seconds. Uh, I hope this will uh, make uh, this will help to our judges to make the result. Uh, so, okay, uh, I hope uh, all of our audience enjoyed it uh, very much as I am enjoying this amazing uh, session tonight. So thanks, thanks to all of our judges tonight. Thanks to all of our participants for being the part of today's session, uh, sir. Uh, Dr. Onupam Sopoda, sir, uh, I am seeking your permission. Uh, can we end the program yes, tonight? Yes. Now we are in ending the session. You may end the session, close the session. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. All the best to all the students. Do well in life. Thank you, Baladi, sir. Thank you, sir. For your nice Thank presidency. You. And hopefully nice, you are with us. Next time you... You are always you are always with us. You are a main mentor of us. Hopefully, you are always with us. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Good, good night, luck, sir. Thank good you. night, Anayat, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Good night, sir. Good night, Anayat, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Good night, sir. Good night, Anayat, sir. Thank you. Good night, sir. Good night, Anayat, sir. Thank you. Good night, sir. Good night, Anayat, sir. Thank you. Good night, sir. Good night, মানে এই শুরুটা তোমাদের ভবিষ্যতে তোমাদের অনেক কাজে লাগবে আমরা মনে করি যে তোমাদের যা শুরুটা তোমাদের ভয় দেখা নয় আমাদের মেইন উদ্দেশ্য যে পার্ট হলো কে সেকেন্ড হলো ইট ইজ নট ফ্যাক্টর পার্ট এন্ড সেকেন্ড নট ফ্যাক্টর বা থার্ড নট ফ্যাক্টর ফ্যাক্টর ইউ আর নিউ কামার এন্ড নিউ নিউলি ওরিয়েন্টেড ইন দিস সেশন হাউ ইউ প্রিপেয়ার ইন এ স্লাইড হাউ ইউ প্রিপেয়ার এ প্রেজেন্টেশন দিস ইজ দা uh it will be helpful to our in future okay mubashir and ji sir anat dhonnobad tomader amar mone thank you sir amader ei agrodatra apirjon dhonodire agrodatra amra tomader shobai ke niye amra hoyto ba ekta destination e jete parbo to amra hopefully amra md course ebong bondhu to shuru hocche ji sir ebong fcps e shuru hocche amader mane kushomoto মানে ওরা একটা কমিটি করেছে বিসিপিএস কমিটি করেছে যে ওরা এফ সি বিসি ব্যাপারে আগ্রহী তো আমাদের বালাজি স্যার ইউ উইল হেল্প আসি আমরা ভালো দিকে এগিয়ে যাচ্ছি তো সবাই সহযোগিতা করলে আমরা আমাদের কোচ গ্রেশন কোর্স শুরু হলে আমাদের সাবজেক্টের প্রতি আগ্রহটা অনেক বেশি বেড়ে যাবে অনেক বেড়ে যাবে আমাদের যে আজকে প্রেজেন্টার আছে তারা ঝাঁপিয়ে পড়বে যে সাবজেক্টের আমাদের <laughs> <laughs> মানে ওরা তো যে
Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, our Tapat Panma uh, ma'am. Uh, we see again in, in a session next time. Uh, and you are always with us. I hope you are you are a dear friend of us. Ma'am, Sabat Pan, ma'am. He may be outside. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. 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 Periodontitis on 14 December. I am ending tonight's session. So till then, be safe, keep safe, and good night to all. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum.